a much anticipated visitor. Along with his cabinet, the Prime Minister was joined by Mark McGowan. So nice to meet you. Welcome to Port Hedland. It's extraordinary. WA's Premier keen to remind the Commonwealth just how much of its wealth is dug up and shipped out from the Pilbara. He gave an opening address to the historic sitting. Just so you know, this port here is the largest tonnage port in the world. And the meeting itself was held in the control tower at Port Hedland Port and followed by a community forum with the ministers where community leaders raised other issues. Here in Port Hedland, of course, we see something like 4% of our GDP go through this port. Uh, it is a great wealth creator here in the Pilbara, and that's why my government is committing $565 million for upgrades. All this new money coming into the town with London Point announced today, it's fantastic, great to have it, uh, but housing is, affordability is the most important thing for us. Housing and childcare, education, all those things that I guess every regional town needs. The Social Services Minister acknowledged the hardships. A country isn't as rich as its richest person. It's as rich as its poorest people. It's no good some people moving ahead and others being left behind. Traditional owners who met with the Prime Minister had their own ideas about keeping children safe. Making sure we have a safe house for our young youth, that we can reduce the crime. The government also hosting an information session on the voice to Parliament. Is lots of naysayers out there. There's lots of people who say we need more information. The Prime Minister is feeling upbeat about the referendum after his flying visit, saying those he's spoken with are mostly in favour of a voice to Parliament, hoping it's the start of a groundswell of support. James Carmody, ABC News, Port Hedland.